Okay, so I'm gonna try to explain sort of the stat skip. I've, there's a lot of tutorials on there how to do sword, or not sword of stat skip, just stat skip. I'll show it with sword too. So, most people don't explain how this trick works, and that's what I'm gonna try to do in this video in detail. So that people can actually understand how this trick works when they're trying to attempt it, which will make it way easier to actually get it on their first try and actually consistently do it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna explain all the setups first, and then I'll get into why this trick works. All right. So you enter Temple of Time, and then I'm gonna show probably the most known setup. And the most common setup to do because it's uh it's pretty reliable it's just kind of slow where you walk into this pillar and then target and then you set up right by pressing right and a and then you press a again while you're targeting and then when he's rolling you press you uh, let go of target like this just like that and then you have this angle so you want to press c again and hold slightly down so he's walking like this and when you're holding Z and you hold slightly down like this, and you press A, it'll side roll like that. So you target this pillar, side up right, press A and untarget. Oops. Press A and untarget, and then Z target again. Hold slightly back, and then press A to roll and untarget once more. And then you'll have this angle, and this is the correct angle angle for Dotska. And then you can just get into this corner, and that's the right angle. So, there's also a faster setup, which you do by turning straight 180. And then side hopping right after you've made it onto that red carpet. And then you just keep back walking. And then you have to backflip while you're back walking here. And my visual cue is when I see, when I see Link past this line right here. Then I backflip, so I see it now, and I backflip. And then you want to press A, the side roll like we did before, like this. And then while you do that, you want to untarget again, like we did before. Just like that. And so, after you do that, you want to hold down. So, side roll, I let go of target, and hold down. And then you'll have a slightly different angle than if you didn't hold down. And targeted the door. Which is what we want. And then after you hold down, you just turn sim you simply turn straight left by shield turning or ESS turning left like this. And then you have the angle for the trick. Okay, there's a third setup I'm gonna show because if you screw up that. Then you can set it up real quick here without having to go all the way back there. You just target this this pillar right here. And then back walk a little bit away from these walls so that you don't target them. Side up left. Side up right. Press A and on target. Then retarget. Hold slightly down so that we can do the roll, the same roll that we did before. And on target. Just like that. Then you just want to turn 180 and you have the angle. Alright, so now that I've showed this setup so I get the angle, I'm going to explain backwards side hopping, which is why this trick works. So, there's a trick called a backwards side up, which lets us gain a lot of speed backwards, just like we get, like it lets us gain side up speed like this, backwards, like that. You can see he's doing a backwards movement with the same speed as this. And the way that you perform this is uh, by holding slightly down, like we were for the setup, and rolling, except we don't untarget this time. Just hold Z the entire time. And then, during that roll, you want to hold straight down. So if you look at the input display to the left, you can see that I hold straight down immediately, like that. And then, that's useful because we want to do the actual side up. So we're going to hold slightly down, hold all the way down, and then on this frame, not that frame, on this frame, we're going to press A. 
and then he'll do the actual backwards cycle. Now, people don't usually understand that that is frame perfect. If you go too late, he'll do uh, a backward slide up, but way more like angled and not straight backwards, which is why people have trouble with this when they first start off, is that they're not doing the slide up correctly. And so if you press A early, then he won't do anything. And if you press A late, then he'll do it too far, too angled. And that's important to understand. So, what we do to clip through this door is we get a very slight angle to the right of a uh, perpendicular with this wall. And then, so it's very slightly right angle. And then we do a backwards side off against the wall so that we hit this corner, this gap right here in the wall that the developers. <laughs> like they, they barely slightly misplaced this wall so this gap was here, which is why this is possible. So we we hit this angle this gap at just the right way so that the side up hits it and it clips through. So that's why understanding the side up is important and that's frame perfect. And so now that I, now that we've gotten that out of the way, I'm gonna actual show actually show the trick. So you want to walk against this pillar. Oh no, I've already showed this up for this. I'm just going to do this up real quick. I was like explaining this setup again. Alright, so now that I've got the angle and now they understand backward side up. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to explain how I do it the backward side up right here because this is a little bit more precise than just doing it anywhere. I hold very slightly left of, of straight down a straight slide down so that link so that I make sure a link does a side roll to the left he has to do a side roll to the left otherwise this will not work if he if you hold too far right then I'll do a side roll to the right which is not good so after you do the side all, the side roll to the slight left and then hold straight down so it's like this you can look at my input display you can uh, do the backwards side up on the right frame and he'll clip through so I'm going to do the setup again. Actually, I have a safe state. Okay, where I have the angle. So just get the angle. And then practice. I would, without pressing A at all, I would just practicing, or press A to side up. I would just practice this movement. Or this, this like, movement on the analog stick to do the roll. Because this is pretty awkward, and people screw this up. It's also important to note that you do not want to mash for this. People, all tutorials say to mash for this trick. You can see on my controller I'm mashing, but that's very bad. You should not mash for this trick at all. You want to time it. Just practice getting this by timing A. Just like that. So, you hold very slightly left it down, press A, hold straight down, press A again for the side off. I'm going to pause but for this so I can show you all the frames, of course. Okay, so the, I, can, I can see Link moving through the gap, or I can see him flipping through it right now. And I'm just going to keep holding target and hold straight left. So this is the frame before the frame you can jump slash on. The first frame is very easy to tell because Link has disappeared. Come on. Okay, so this is the first frame. You can hold, keep holding straight left and just press B out of unpause lag. And then you've uh, clipped through the door time. Now there's a second frame where you can jump slash on, but you have to do something very slightly different. Okay, so this is the frame where you can hold just straight, hold straight left. And this is one frame late. You can hold straight up and uh, to adjust to this and jump slash to fix it just like that. So that's the sword method. And I'm going to show you the swordless method too. Um, the swordless method is a little bit different and requires a little bit more, it's just a little bit more complex I would say. So people usually consider it harder, although it's really just preference to be honest. So after you do, you do the clip the exact same way as you would with sword method. 
Except after you get the clip, you want to let go of every input. Okay, so I've gotten the clip. I'm letting go of everything. I'm just going to pause buffer to the frame where we can see the gap. This is one frame late. If you do this, Link will not target the door of time, which is what you want, and this will fail, so this is what will happen. Okay, so you let go of everything. Oh, man. I want to show the frame before and pause buffering one frame later, otherwise I would just do this one and pause. My pause buffering sucks though. So. Alright, so this is the frame with the with the gap where you can see the door in the gap. And this is the frame where you press target. And it's important to note that if you press target and then hold left immediately, you'll get crushed like this. And you don't want to do that. You want to press target and then space out your le holding left, otherwise this will not work. You have plenty of frames to hold left though, so just make sure to wait like a second before you start holding left. And then you'll click straight through the door. You have a lot of frames to hold left. And that's pretty much the only difference of Swordless Lock Skip versus Sword. The inputs are just different. So that's pretty much how you do dot skip. I hope that explains. Um, Kind of explains how this trick works a little bit better. Sorry, I have a safe stand trying to get through. Oh, oh, they like uh, how that explains how this trick works and why it works. So that's pretty much it. But I'm going to show one more thing, which is how to do reverse dot skip, which is really useful when you're practicing this trick on console. So I'm just going to show it real quick. You target this wall, and then do a side up right. Side roll and untarget, and retarget, and then you just do the exact same thing again, just like that. And then you can hold right and side up, and after you side up, just mash B, and you'll clip right through. That's what's significantly easier than doing it from the side. All right, so that's dot skip. I hope that helps and explains why this trick works.